Number one, we have the integral of ln x over x to the third power. So let's recognize this as x to the negative 3 times ln of x. Because this way, when we see x to some power times ln x, we do integration by parts. So let's do the d and an i on the side. We will be differentiating ln x, and then we'll integrate x to the negative 3. Differentiating ln, we get 1 over x. Integrating x to the negative 3, just add 1 to the power, divided by the new power. So that is negative 1 half x to the negative 2. And now, when we do this times this, that's the first part of the answer. Negative 1 half, and then I will just write it as x to the negative 2 times ln x. And then we have to multiply these two things and then put that inside of an integral. So negative times negative, that will give us a plus integral. And we have 1 over x times 1 half x to the negative 2. So this right here is the same as, let me just write this down. And perhaps I'll write down the x to the negative 2 on the bottom. So we have negative and then ln x on the top over 2x squared like this. Plus, here we have the 1 half, put it on the outside of the integral. And then this is the x to the negative 1 times x to the negative 2. So that's x to the negative 3. And then I have 1 to the power divided by the new power. So finally, we have negative ln x over 2x squared. This times that, we have minus 1 over 4. And then we have x to the negative 2. So I will also put that on the bottom right here. 1 over 4 x to the square, x to the second power. And then we're all done. That's the first one. Number 2. Let's integrate secant to the fourth power x. Now, when we have secant to an even power, break it apart. 2 and 2. So secant square x times secant square x. And we are going to just save this right here. And we are going to change secant square x into tangent square x plus 1. So let's write that down. This way, we can just do u sub, because this is an expression in terms of tangent x. If we put u equal to tangent x, du is just going to be secant square x dx. And that's right here. Very nice, huh? So this is just the integral of tangent is the u. So we have u squared plus 1. And then that is the du. Now, Integrating u squared in the u world, we get 1 third u to the third power, and u is tangent. So let's write that down. And the third power, I will put it right here. Next, when we integrate 1 in the u world, we get u. And u is tangent x. So I will just write that as tangent x here. And then we add them up. All done, plus c. Number 3, integral of 2x plus 3 over x squared minus 5x plus 4. Can we factor the denominator? Yes. So let's go ahead and do that. This is the integral, and we have 2x plus 3 over, we need x minus 1 times x minus 4. OK, what do we do next? integration by parts. This is not a bad situation because we can just do the cover up and uh, I will just do the integration, do the partial fraction right here for you guys. 2x plus 3 over x minus 1, x minus 4. We will get some number over x minus 1 plus some other number x minus 4. Notice the degrees. I should have mentioned that the degree on the top is 1. The degree on the bottom was 2. So we can just go through the setup immediately. And this is linear. 
That's why the top is just going to be a constant. Likewise, for this right here, we also have just a constant. Now, to figure out A, this right here, you go to the denominator, which is x minus 1, cover this up, and then just ask yourself, how can we make x minus 1 equal to 0? x has to be 1, right? So, we will be plugging x equals 1 into the remaining expression right here. Now it's 2 times 1 plus 3 over 1 minus 4. So that's 5 on the top over negative 3 on the bottom. So that's what A is. Now for B, we can do the same thing. So that will be, again, let's look at this denominator. Go back to the original, cover this up, and in this case, x should be equal to 4. So that we can make this equal to 0. Now, plugging 4 into all the x's, we have 2 times 4 plus 3 over 4 minus 1. So the top will give us 11, and the bottom is going to give us 3 and then plug in the numbers and also go back to the integral. a is negative 5 over 3, and then we have this over x minus 1, and then we add b is 11 over 3, and then we have this over x minus 4. And then we can just integrate term by term. So first we have a constant multiple, negative 5 over 3, and then when we integrate 1 over x minus 1, and let me just remind you guys this right here. When we have to integrate 1 over linear, let's say ax plus b, we will get not just ln absolute value of ax plus b, but we will have to remember, because if we do u sub, let u equal to ax plus b, the derivative is a, and we will have to divide it by that derivative. So we will have the 1 over a right here. And of course, in this formula here, a cannot be equal to 0. So right here, we have a linear on the bottom, and the coefficient here is just 1. So we will just get ln absolute value of x minus 1. Continue with the next one. We have 11 over 3, and then times the ln absolute value of x minus 4. And then we are done. Remember, for we have the integral x squared times tangent of x to the third power. Hmm. Okay. x squared on the outside, x to the third power on the inside. We don't need to do integration by parts. Let's do a u sub. Let's do u equal to x to the third power. So du is equal to 3x squared dx. And I'll divide the 3x squared on both sides. So du over 3x squared. Now, this is the integral x squared tangent of the input here is u. And then the dx is du over 3x squared. And then we can cancel the x squared. And we can put the 1 over 3 to the front. And then we just have to focus on the integral of tangent u in the u world. Now, the integral of tangent u is a standard result, so you should just remember that. And I will tell you, we will get ln absolute value of secant of u. But we know u is equal to x to the third power, so we just have to put that right in right here. For this expression, make sure to put parentheses to emphasize that we have x to the third power inside of the secant function. And then we are all done. This is it. Number 5. We are looking at the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared raised to the 5 over 2 power. Hmm. Remember we have the like a fraction power, that's square root. So this is like saying square root of 1 plus x squared. And we only have a 1 on the top, right? So u sub, uh, I don't think it's going to work out that nicely. But trick sub should work out better. Let's do a trick sub. 
1 plus x squared, we will take x to be 1, and then times tangent theta. The reason I say 1, because we look at this as 1 squared. Do the usual business. The derivative of tangent theta is secant squared theta d theta. And now let's go to the theta world. So we have 1 over 1 plus x is tangent. So I'll write that down right here. And then square that. And then raise to the 5 over 2 power. And the tangent. And the dx is secant square theta d theta. Oops, sorry, plus. Now, on the inside, this is the same as secant square theta. And then we still have to raise this to the 5 over 2 power. And the 2 and the 2 cancel. So we really have secant to the 5th power on the bottom. So this is the integral 1 over secant to the 5th of theta times secant squared theta. Then we can cancel two thetas, like this and that. So this becomes a 3. So this right here will give us the integral of 1 over secant to the third power theta. Think for the secant to the third power theta is on the bottom, because we can just bring that up and make that into cosine to the third power theta. It's slightly easier to integrate compared to secant to the third power theta. And let's use the standard result. Anyways, to do this right here, we will have to break this apart. This is going to be cosine squared theta times cosine theta. And then for the first cosine squared theta, we are going to write an expression in terms of sine theta. So use the identity 1 minus sine squared theta. Because this way, we can do a u sub. That u equal to sine to the first power theta, differentiate both sides. So we get cosine theta d theta. And this right here is our du. So we are looking at the integral 1 minus sine is the u, square that, and then all this is the du. And then integrate that. Integrating 1 in the u world is u. So remember, we will first have the u, but u is sine theta, so I'm just going to write that down right here. And then minus integrating u squared in the u world, we get 1 third u, which is sine theta, and then raise that to the third power. I'll put it here. But we are not done yet. Because we are still in the theta world, we have to go back to the x world. So, have a look. Tangent theta is equal to x. So we see tangent theta is equal to x, and we can put that as x over 1. And then let's draw the right triangle. Put the right angle here. Theta here. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So x is right here and 1 right here. And for the hypotenuse, go ahead and open the square root, squared each side, and add them up. Now, for sine theta, we will be just opposite over hypotenuse. So that's x over square root of 1 squared, which is 1, and then plus x squared. Minus 1 third sine is once again the expression this times to the third power, so we have x over square root of 1 plus x squared. And that's technically it, but let's actually put the answers down together. So I put down dot 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 because I will have to continue in the next page. So let's work this out. So the first part is just x times square root of 1 plus x squared, and then minus, and uh, we have x cubed on the top over 3. Now, square root to the third power, it's like square root times square root times square root. Square root times square root, they cancel. We'll just have the inside. 
but we have one more square root. So like that. And uh, to combine the fractions, we will have to have the common denominator. Firstly, we need a 3. Secondly, we need a 1 plus x squared. So I'll put it down right here. This is on our side. And then, they will have the same denominator. I will write 3. Let's put on parentheses 1 plus x squared first, and then the square root. And then let's distribute the 3x here and also here. That will be 3x plus 3x to the third power. And then minus x to the third power. So finally, the top is 3x. This two together is plus 2x to the third power over 3. And you can keep it like this, we can just do what we did earlier, but kind of like backwards. This is the same as saying 1 plus x squared, but raised to the 3 half power. Because this is like the half power, and this is like the first power. So combine them, add the powers, you get a 3 half power. And then we're done.